You now joining us is Gabby's mother, Nicole Schmidt, and her stepfather, Jim Schmidt. Also with us, Gabby's father, Joe Petito, and her stepmother, uh, Tara, is with us. Nicole, let me start with you as a mom. I'm, look, I'm just trying to stand back, and as a parent myself, I have a son and a daughter, trying to put myself in your shoes. It's impossible. Believe me, I, I, I understand that. And I'm very sorry to all of you for living through this. I'm trying to understand why this boyfriend, ex fiance ends up back at his home in Florida and will not tell you where he last saw your daughter. Why won't he... Why Any human being with a soul would be doing everything possible to help you get the answers to find your daughter. And every day that passes, now it gets more difficult, doesn't it? It's scary and heartbreaking. I don't know how to describe it, to be honest with you. We are, we are running out of time, and um, we're scared for Gabby. We think she might be in danger, and we just, we just want him to talk. Just tell us, where, where was she? Where did you leave her? You know, I, I wanted to just know what happened, and uh, I'm, I'm getting angry now at this point, as you can tell. I'm, uh, I'm beyond frustrated. You know, as a mother to another mother, I, I beg his mother to make him speak, or at least for the parents to say something. Yeah. Let, let me go to Joe uh, Petito, Gabby's dad, and let me ask you, Joe. You asked the right question. You want to ask the boyfriend, where did you leave Gabby? Where did you last see her? Now, you, you suspect that this August 30th text was not actually sent from Gabby. Why do you suspect that? And what has been the outreach to this young man and his family in terms of, will you please help us find the, our daughter that you were with and you took her van home? The, the outreach is, uh, I think, 350 million plus people asking, where's Gabby? I mean, everyone's asking. You got one person not doing it. So, in all honesty, it, it's we're all trying to find find the answer. And the only person who knows it, 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 it you know, is sitting over in their house over there. And you can't have a more frustrating situation. I, I mean, I mean, think about it. Look where we are. You know, everyone's sitting here trying to trying to bring Gabby home, and the only one who doesn't care is the one who's supposed to care about her the most. Did, did you reach out to his family and say, "Can you make? Can you ask your son to help us? Can you ask him to to put aside whatever legal advice? Why would you need legal advice if you're not involved in something nefarious? Why wouldn't you put aside I, I, everything I, when somebody's life may be in on the line here?" <laughs> You know, you're asking the right questions, and, and, and we've reached out. I mean, we've reached out. I can't even tell you how many times in the media, you know. And now we're asking everybody, you know, to, to continue looking, because obviously the three people or that live in that house just don't care. They can put whatever statement they want out. At the end of the day, they do not care. It's as cold and as, and as cruel as you could possibly be, and they're over there. And so the rest of us and the rest of the country are doing everything they can. I get emails from strangers I've never met dying to help. I'm so sorry. Uh, you know, as a father, I'm so sorry. Nicole and Jim, let me ask you, why do you believe the August 30th message was not sent by Gabby? And do you have any evidence? So, do you know where that ping came from? Because you can track where text messages actually originate from. Um, I'm sure the FBI has that information. I'm hoping they do. Um, we know as little as you at that at this point, but um, I know my daughter. And if you do the math, we know that she didn't send it because he was home September 1st, and they never went to Yosemite. They never had plans to go to Yosemite, so it's obvious. Yeah, I, I, and have you? Re I, I don't know if this young man's mother's alive. Is his mother alive? Did, did you ever reach out to her and say, "Can you please help me find my daughter"? Yes, I reached out to her on Friday, the ninth, or the tenth. I'm sorry. Um, I texted her. I, I'm worried about the kids. I haven't heard from them, and um, I got nothing. Call, she, left messages, got nothing. She won't even call you back. Nope. And, and Joe and Tara, you, you've reached out. They won't call you back? No. We've called on the 10th. I can't tell you how many times. We, we sent text messages. We're worried. We're calling the police. Uh, I, I mean, if someone texted me that they're calling the police because they can't find my, you know, my son, you know, I'm going to 
drop whatever I'm doing to call me back. But I guess it's evident how they how they run their uh, their household compared to well, 350 she, other million people in the country. Joe and Tara, well, what do you make of this? She knew her son was home at that time. I'm sorry, Tara. She knew her son was yeah. home at that time when we were texting her. At that point, we yeah, didn't so know that they, that he was home. Joe and Tara, what do you make of the video that was released from the police? Uh, this 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 encounter. Uh, they said it was more emotional and not physical. I guess they didn't see any signs of any physical altercation. Um, what did, could you glean anything from that video? Uh, listen, I, I, I myself couldn't bring myself to watch the whole video, but that's me. All right, and I understand a lot of people have seen it and all that other stuff, but I get it. Hey, hey but Joe, really, what that does dad. is that. That the, yeah, I get it, but I, it distracts from my main focus right now. That video does nothing to help me find my daughter. Because that was on August uh, 12th. I last spoke to her on the 21st. So anytime after that, when, when, when Nikki spoke to her, anytime after that is where we're concentrating on. So that, that video is, 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 is whatever you want to call it, as it can be, distracts from everything that we're trying to do. We're trying to find Gabby. That video, we got we got contact after that. So to me, at that mo at this moment, that video doesn't mean as much as as to her location. Well, you asked the fundamental questions: Where'd you leave Gabby? Where'd you see her last? Nicole and Jim, let me ask you: Have the police gone over that van with a fine tooth comb? I believe the uh, the police do. They have they have it in their possession. Uh, I believe they have done whatever they had to do with it. Uh, again, we don't have a lot of information on, on the investigation itself. It's a very fluid, very moving uh, investigation. Unfortunately, Sadly. we wish they could divulge information to us, but they can't, well, and we understand why. If anybody has any information, please contact the FBI. Uh, I want to say to all of you, I'm, I'm sincerely sorry. We're all praying for, your, for Gabby to get home safely. Hope he, hopefully, he'll step up and give the information you need. More Hannity next. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.